Hello you lot. How are we doing? Yorkshire Cooks here and today we're going to make a Yorkshire hot pot. Isn't it called Lancashire hot pot? We can't make a hot pot. Oh yeah, fair enough. So let's get started. Today we're trying Yorkshire Blonde from Osset Brewery. It's, that's just up motorway from us. Junction 40, I think. Just outside Jewsbury. Right. <laughs> Yeah. It's lovely, crisp. It's a Yorkshire pale ale, comes in at 3.9%, very sessionable. We could get down a fair few of these in a night. And for me, it's a definite bob on. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's a definite bob on for me. It's really nice. It's lovely. Have you tried it? Where there? Bob on. Certainly a Bob on. You used to get it in your fish nets, now you only get it in your night. Five hundred grams of lamb or beef chunks. Two onions. Two large carrots three large potatoes two tablespoons of more affordable butter one heaped tablespoon of plain flour four heaped tablespoons of bisto powder two oxo cubes one pint of water Yorkshire's very own Anderson's relish Half a teaspoon of thyme. Salt and pepper, preferably free. Cooking oil to brown your meat. An egg to glaze your potatoes. Cut your carrots up. Cut your potatoes into slices. Wah! Dice your onions. Put your oil in the pan and then stick your meat. Oh, listen to that. Once all your meat's browned off, we need to put it to one side, leaving all the juices in the pan for the vegetables that are going to go in. Add two tablespoons of butter to your remnants of what's left from the meat. Now, add your onions and carrots. Add your meat to the cooked vegetables, give them a stir. And now what we're going to do is thicken it up by adding two teaspoons of flour. Spread it around. Now we need to mix it in. Now add salt and pepper. There's nothing like free salt and pepper. There we go. And a dash of endos. Or a few dashes. Or a few <laughs> dashes, yes. <laughs> well, that smells gorgeous. Boil your pint of water and add two oxo cubes. And then stir. Add four eat teaspoons of Bisto gravy, not gravy granules, gravy. And then what we need to do is mix it with a bit of cold water. Once you've added a bit of water to your gravy powder, add it into your gravy. If you were to put your gravy powder straight in it would go all lumpy and then you've got to stir and keep stirring and then we need to get it straight on the stove. Add your boiling gravy to the ingredients you'd already cooked. If 
it becomes too thick, you can well actually water it down. But we'll see. Add your mixture to a casserole dish. Just put a sheet of tin foil over the casserole dish. And we're going to put that in the oven for half an hour on 180 degrees fan assisted or 200 without a fan. Remove the foil and then give it a stir round. As you can see it's, it's cooking well. Put some potatoes on and overlap them. Start from the outside. Brush some egg over your potato. This will give it a nice glaze. And finish it off with some thyme on the top. And then that goes straight back in the oven for at least another half hour. When your hot pot's getting hot and your potatoes are burning on the top, just make yourself a brew. Jack, what makes a Yorkshire hot pot as opposed to a Lancashire hot pot? I got a clue. This, my mate. Right, okay. No! Hold on. <coughs> Put now on. try it. Right. I'm on it. Right, I'm trying to get everything on the fork so I can get an honest review with everything involved. So a bit of onion, a bit of carrot, it works. Don't tell me your opinion, not yet, not yet. Matter of fact, you're on your second mouthful, that's it's looking good. How nice is that? Wow. That... Is the best thing you've made. Even better than them toffee apples. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's a bob on from me. And it is a definite bob on from me. Right, we're ready, we're ready.